Hi guys, I'm on the ultimate reset day four and that means I'm halfway through the first week and that feels really great. The first week has been a challenge because it's rocked my world, to put it mildly. I'm a very structured, routine person. Um, I know what I'm going to have for breakfast when I wake up in the morning. I always have a Shakeology for lunch and typically have a similar dinner uh, week to week. So this is, I have learned that I have to put thought into what I'm having for breakfast. Um, what's my lunch going to be? Doing the different supplements and preparing dinner. So my advice to you, if you're doing the ultimate reset or you're considering doing the ultimate reset, is to plan ahead and be prepared. For instance, if a meal calls for rice and you can make enough rice and you look ahead in the book and you can make enough rice to save and use the next day, it's going to be huge. Um, a fruit salad, you may be having a fruit salad for breakfast, so if you can make a big fruit salad, have it in the refrigerator so when you wake up in the morning it's right there ready for you and you don't really have to think. Going without the coffee, I know that's a habit, I'm the, the type of person do not even talk to me until I've had, well, at least had a sip of my morning coffee. So that has been an extreme um, challenge for me. Um, I didn't get headaches or caffeine withdrawal, which I hear a lot of times people get. Um, another thing, another uh, piece of advice is be kind to your body. Slow down. If, you're, if you love to work out and you work out at an intense rate, you want to it, it definitely slow that down. Don't do that. Today I did yoga and it felt really good, but I took it easy during the yoga class. I liked the hot yoga. So um, my heart rate got up. I felt a little lightheaded in there, but it, it, I just, I paced myself. I didn't look at the girl in front of me and try to keep up with her. I was kind to my body and kind to myself and just, just sort of really went, went internal and, um, and had a great yoga session. Um, that is really it for now. That's the update for week one. Um, the meals have been great. Last night I made miso soup for the first time and that was amazing. I'll, I'll make that in, in the future going forward. It, it was, it was just super, super yummy. And if you need any help, you need, um, strength, support. If you're thinking of doing the ultimate reset or maybe you're doing the ultimate reset right now. I'm here. I'd love to help you um, virtually. Send me a message on Facebook, email me, whatever. Just here to help. Love helping people. And um, in closing, I, I definitely have to say that the ultimate reset is pushing me way outside my comfort zone. Two to three steps, at least, outside my comfort zone, which I'm the type of person that I know that all of my successes in life have have happened and come when I've stepped way outside my comfort zone. So I'm sort of, I have the faith. I'm blindly trusting that the same thing is going to happen here. So um, that's it. Have a great day. And again, reach out if you want support, whatever it is, I'm here to help. And I'll, I'll update you guys, I don't know, a few days. Have a good day.